बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट इच क्वेश्चन कंटेन स्टेटमेंट वन दैट इज असर्सन एंड स्टेटमेंट टू दैट इज रीजन सो एग्जामाइन द स्टेटमेंट केयरफुली एंड मार्क द करेक्ट आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवेन बिलो सो देर आर फोर ऑप्शन ए बी सी एंड डी ये बोथ स्टेटमेंट आर ट्रू एंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट वन देन यू विल चूज ए If both statements are true, but statement two is not the correct explanation of statement one, then we will choose B. And if statement one is true and statement two is false, then we will choose C. And if statement one is false and statement two is true, then we will choose D. So statement one says that an increase in surface area increases the rate of evaporation, and statement two says that. stronger the intermolecular attraction forces faster is the rate of evaporation at a given temperature so let's solve this question so increase in surface area increases the rate of evaporation it is true increase in surface area increase in rate of evaporation evaporation will increase because uh, in if we take like this surface area and this surface area this is surface area number 1 and this is surface area number 2 if we we'll compare between 1 and 2 then obviously rate of evaporation will be more in case of 2 as it has more surface area because here molecules are or the Smell molecules or the spaces present in this area. They have free. They are free and they are freely evaporate. But in surface area one, they are not um, like in comparison to two. They are not freely. They can evaporate. So rate of evaporation will be more in case of two than one. So more the surface area, more is the rate of evaporation. So statement one is true. statement 1 is true now statement 2 so statement 2 says that statement 2 says that stronger the intermolecular attraction forces faster is the rate of evaporation at a given temperature so it is also true because the stronger the intermolecular attraction forces if the attraction forces or intermolecular attraction forces between the molecules will be more then they can they cannot freely evaporate so statement 2 is false if we we'll see statement 2 it says the stronger the intermolecular attraction forces so if the intermolecular attraction between molecules are stronger then they are bound to each other and they are not freely evaporate so slower is the rate of evaporation so statement 2 is false because stronger the intermolecular attraction forces they cannot freely evaporate and rate of evaporation will be slower at a given temperature so statement 2 is false if we we'll see statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false that means option c is the correct answer because if we we'll see this like increase in the surface area obviously increase the rate of evaporation because there are more surface area molecules are freely evaporated so in case rate of evaporation will increase but in case of intermolecular attraction forces stronger the intermolecular attraction forces molecules are bound to each other and they cannot freely evaporate so slower is the rate of evaporation at a given temperature so statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false so option c is the correct answer hope you understand it well best of luck